y'all welcome back to kelly plans it all and like seriously welcome back it's been months since i've done a video and i just really felt like i needed to come on and share one of the planners that i'm using for 2023 because even though it's a planner i've been using i feel like it has some really special upgrades for 2023 and i wanted to be able to share that with you guys so the box looks plain one because it came in an outer wrapping um, that had like my address on it and I tried to pull the label off and I couldn't get it to come off without ripping the bag. So, um, I just threw it away, unfortunately. So, uh, this is the 2023 Gooseby Twins Planner and it did come in a really cool, um, themed, like totally on brand bag, um, covering this up, which was perfect because it happened to be delivered on a day that it was raining and I was so worried that it was going to sit on my porch and get wet, uh, but I didn't have to worry about it. It came in a bag. Very, very nice feature. I have kind of pre-opened things just so that you're not having to watch me struggle with like scissors and stuff, but um, we're going to go through it all as far as how it's all presented. So the box, again, branded to every inch of this presentation uh, with this beautiful piece of branding here a QR code to get you to their website uh, and then a little personalized thank you I appreciate that so much um, so you can kind of know from the start that they really care about details now this is something they've always had in their planner orders and that's their branded tissue paper once you peel that back you're going to get this little clear decal, Trust the Magic of Beginnings. That's so pretty, and I love this. Uh, it's very muted color scheme. It just, it reminds me of fall, but it could be um, a lot of different feelings, but I love that so much. And then there are our girls, Kayla and Christina, the owners of Gooseby Twins Stationery and all of their social media outlets so that you can find them on every platform. Now, in addition to the planner this year, and I'm trying not to knock my light over with the lid of the box. Uh, in addition to the planner, they gave the option to order some coordinating stickers. So since those are on top in this cute little folio, I'm gonna show those first and then we'll dig into the planner. So we've got some foiled and it's like a brown foil, which if you don't, I don't even know how to show it as pretty as it is. Do you kind of catch where the light's getting? It's like not copper. It's deeper than that. It's truly like a brown foil. It's so pretty. And it's the same foiling on these stickers. And on these, like it's, it's not rose gold. It's not copper. It's truly, it's brown. It's beautiful. I've never thought of like trying to use a brown foil I've never seen other shops do that it's so unique to them so on brand I love those washi just some really fun little pops of color you can use in your planner some additional washi strips love those so much really really nice touch to offer some coordinating stickers um, they did have them to match every single uh, planner cover. I only bought the bundle that matched my cover, but you could buy more if you wanted more, and I might go back and do that, honestly. Now we're gonna get into the planner. There are a few different colorways for the um, cover, and this is Canyon One, and my ring light's making glares, but I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see. Look at just the variation in color on this so pretty there's like a plaid that matched the washi strip in that sticker kit I just showed you there is this canyon pattern but in a a different colorway um and there was something else too but I don't remember this caught my attention and I was gonna go with nothing less than canyon one now when you look at this coil again this is not copper it's not gold it's brown and it's really hard to show you on film that color but trust it's like truly brown it does look very gold like I'm looking at my my film screen as I'm doing this and it looks gold or copper but it's not in person it is this like wonderful caramel brown color it is so pretty and so unique and that's what they really um, used as the guidepost throughout this planner this year was this 
deep, um, rich brown tone. So it's still very neutral, but it's not black and gray, it's brown. And so again, like this ink, it it's shades of brown, but it's, if you're someone who's worried that it's not gonna match your stickers or it's not neutral because it's not black, I don't think you, like this is such a deep chocolate here. And then you've got these lighter browns here. So, so pretty. And then they have their kind of like business, almost like a mission statement, but it's more of like the story of where they came from and, and it evolves into a mission statement here. They put this in the front of every year. So I, I love having that right here at the beginning. This really shows off the brown printing. When you look at the different shades in this four year calendar. So if you're someone who's like making super advanced plans and you're like, oh, I need to know what day Christmas falls on in 2026. Like you can look that up. If you're maybe someone who plans trips several years in advance or coordinates big corporate events, like that would be helpful, I feel like. Um, and then you have kind of your perpetual calendar here that you can do birthdays or, you know, it's got the, the typical holidays listed, but you can, may have other things that you celebrate um, based on your religion or your own tradition that you can add, um, as well as birthdays and things like that. A little notes page, and then we go into January. And again, this looks black. I know you're going, Kelly, that's black. It's not black. It is the deepest, deepest brown. And I don't know how to show it to you on video. I'm just, you have to buy it. Sorry. Now, when we get to the calendar page, you can see the lighter brown is super obvious. The darker brown is such a deep, rich brown that it's um, indistinguishable from black on film. But you can see the warmth in the color in person. It's really, really pretty. So this is a monthly spread, pretty typical, your full month, your sidebar, your previous, and then uh, future month. Now we get into the weekly layout. This is the weekly layout that they've had with some minor adjustments. So if you've seen my planner, and I don't actually have it over here, it's over sitting by where I sit and work on my planner. Um, it's always had this three box, and then it's had like some open space with some um, lines at the bottom where you can do um, kind of a freestyle. So instead of having that kind of open space, they've made it an additional box. So it's still column width. It is a little shorter than the standard full box sticker size, um, but there's enough room at the bottom. If you were someone who absolutely wanted to do a fourth full box sticker, you could run it all the way to the bottom and it would fit no problem. There's space there. If you wanted to put like a full box checklist sticker or something like that, it would fit, it would work. Um, if you're someone who's like, I don't need that space, I still wanna put my washi strips down here. They'll still fit down here. Um, you could fit them at the bottom and you'd have a little space here or you could fill the whole thing up with washi if you're you know, into that. Like, I love that there's additional space here for additional possibilities. And I feel like as we have come out of like the quarantine phase of COVID. COVID is by no means over, but as we've moved back into participating in public life, I don't know about you, but my tasks and my to-dos and my the expectations for my time have just increased um, to the point where it's more than before COVID. Like, I don't know if like as a society, we're trying to make up for lost time or what the deal is, or if people are just taking advantage, um, but I need this space and you probably do as well. You have your sidebar on the right hand side, Monday through Thursday, on the left hand side, Friday through Sunday, on the right hand side, which I love keeping the entire weekend together because for me who works a typical eight to four job um, in the school system, my Friday, my weekend starts four o'clock on Friday. So I like to have my full weekend plans all together. Um, obviously, if you work a different kind of work schedule, it probably won't matter to you what side they're on. But for me, this works super well. And that is how the month goes. You work your way through the month. I love um, not only the, the browns, but it really pops off this bright white paper, which is super smooth. 
uh, I think they use 32 pound paper and it's very smooth. Um, this, I love this sheet. I always bought a separate little planner to do budgeting because this is how I budget on a calendar, looking at a calendar, using a calendar and all the budget planners out there just wanted you to like write down what bills you pay. And that doesn't do anything for me because I need to know when we're getting paid, like where in the month and when things are due and how to make that money, you know, all show up on the correct dates. Uh, because as someone who works in the school system, I get paid monthly, my husband gets paid bi-weekly. So there's all kinds of money going in and out, but it has to line up with what bills are due. So this helps me write in paydays, write in bill due dates and amounts. I don't usually write amounts over here unless it's something that's random, like something like our HOA fees are due quarterly. So I'll go through at the beginning of the year, they'll be doing January and write HOA, the date and the amount. Things that are not monthly, things that are random expenses for that month, um, like recital fees or whatever. Um, things that are going to be pop-ups. And then this stuff I just transfer to the next month because it's due the same day every month roughly. Um, there's some savings if you want to track that and then a place to make notes. So like I'll make notes down here sometimes about like um, what the our payment um, payday amounts are because sometimes they don't fit in here. Um, especially if we're both getting paid on the same day, which sometimes happens and we have a bunch of bills due that day. So I'll make notes down here. Um, I may make notes about like additional payments to uh, a credit card or additional payments to our mortgage, things like that, that are beyond what's due. So good space down there you can use. And then of course there are the notes pages at the back of each month as well. And so that goes on literally throughout the whole planner. I don't have to show you every month to show you what that all looks like, but I will skip to the back here and then there is a whole big notes section. So you can really if, plan out everything that you want. There is a bunch of lined pages. There is some blank couple pieces back here. And then there is this, I don't know if you can see how deep, rich brown. I'm trying to get it in the light just right so you can see it. It's beautiful tone. On this little folder you can see my fingerprints because they're sweaty sorry uh, <laughs> being real here y'all um but yeah this is beautiful i am so excited to move into this planner and start the new year um uh, so if you want to try one for yourself i'm gonna link their uh page information down below i don't have like a, I'm not a PR person for them. I just really love their planner. So uh, I just want to tell everybody about it. So I don't have like a code or anything, but um, they're wonderful and they're worth full price. So um, if you're looking for a planner brand, especially one that is female, black owned, and really has a mission to help women, this is your planner. Go get it. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Bye.